Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, give an example for method overloading concept that you have used in Selenium. Let me answer. There are several things in Selenium that you can apply overloading concept of Java. Okay. So let me give you an example place in Selenium where you can apply this overloading concept. So for that, I'll switch to this Eclipse ID here. I'll create a method, public void, select an option. Okay, with, uh, I mean, uh, with the text. Okay, let's say. So this one method I'm going to create. So what I'm going to do, just uh, see. So here I'll write the code web driver. Driver is equal to new Chrome driver. Then for the mouse, import this from Selenium library and import this from Selenium library. Then say driver dot manage dot window dot maximize. Then say driver dot get. Here open the application URL. Copy this. Paste it here. Once after that, just select an option from the drop down field. Select an option from the drop down field. Let's say this is a drop down field. I want to select an option from the drop down field. So there are different ways of selecting the option from the drop down field, right? Uh, select an option, I will say, from drop down. Select an option from drop down. Okay, this is the name I am giving. And uh, here, I would like to, okay, to select an option, right? I would like to pass the text string, string option text. And here I'll write the code. And before that, I have need, I need to pass the driver also, okay? Web driver driver I need to pass. Okay. Now call this method from here. And now you pass the text, which text you want to select from the drop down field. Let's say doc3. So doc3, comma, pass the driver. Like this, you call the method. Now make this static. Then the rest will be gone. Now here write the code. That is a uh, First, create a web element for this drop down field. Inspect this drop down field as an ID. Copy this ID and say web element element drop field drop down field is equal to driver dot find element y dot ID. Give the ID locator of the drop down field for the most import it. Now say drop down field dot select by drop down field dot uh, yeah sorry I need to create an object for the select class select select is equal to new select and uh, to the select class you pass the web element drop down field web element put a semicolon here over the mouse import now write the code. Select dot select by visible text. That is option text. You pass it here. That's it. This will select the option in the drop-down field. Okay. Now other way is public static white select an option from drop down. And here say string, uh, otherwise int index index value, comma, web driver, driver. So a you know overloaded method I'm creating, right? The method having the same name but different type of parameters. So to select an option from the drop down field, you can call this method or this method having the same name. You see, this uh, both the methods have the same name, but different implementation. These are overloaded methods in Java, you can say that because if the methods in the same class file have the same name, they are called as overloaded methods uh, when they have the different uh, type of parameters or deep. Uh, different, uh, you know, number of parameters or different order of parameters. Fine. Anyhow, here I'll simply say, instead of select by visible text, I'll say select by index. I'll give this index value here. Just copy this index here. That's it. Now, either you can call this method or if you don't, you want to call other method, you can pass the index here. For example, I'll pass the index as the one. What will be selected if I select uh, pass the index value as one? 0, 1, doc1 will be selected, okay, like that. 
So like this, we can create any number of overloaded methods uh, for selecting the options in the drop-down field. Okay, this one place in Selenium where I have, uh, you know, uh, use overloaded methods for selecting an option from the drop-down field with a different type of base, like uh, one way is by using the uh, visible text, otherwise uh, using the index, other way maybe by using the uh, value, attributes value, okay, like that many options are there, okay. So hope uh, you understood uh, how to, okay, how to implement the overload methods, okay, how to implement the overloaded methods in Selenium. In one of the example, I showed you where you can implement the overloaded methods for selecting an option from the drop-down fields in Selenium, okay. So there are different varieties of ways uh, in which you can select an option from the drop-down field by using the text by with the help of the value or with the help of the index. For each and every type, uh, you can create an overloaded method and whatever the way you want to select, uh, you just call that method by passing appropriate type of values. That particular me overloaded method will be called and action will be performed. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.